Hello everyone, welcome to our channel on web coding. My name is Durgesh Sahani and we are creating a series of video tutorials for CRUD operation in React using PHP, API and MySQL database. So in the last session we have seen how to save the data into MySQL database. In this session I'm going to show you how to actually list those data which is created here into uh, this page. And before starting actually I just wanted to do a little correction into this previous tutorial. Uh, we can use then after the API call. If the API call is successful, after that we can uh, simply say function and function will be coming with response. So you can simply say here, if you just wanted to print uh, into log, then uh, you can use this console.log also. What data you're getting or you can use some uh, let's say console dot log and response dot data. So this is how you should be getting the response. And I just wanted to do one more thing, which is uh, navigate and as you can see, once it got successfully uh, data got inserted in that case, after that we were just wanted to na navigate to home page. So let's check one example here quickly. So I'm going to insert um, test test at the rate test dot com. This is the value save. And you can see record successfully got created. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. Let's say use navigate and let's say const navigate equal to this and instead of this say this okay now let's refresh the page and test save the data got created and as soon as it got created as you can see it has redirected to list of users now let's go ahead and uh, show this list now we should be having four data here and all those four data should be listed here so let's go to your list user component now okay so let's make api call first with the help of uh, xcs dot get get method and this time we have to hit the similar endpoint so i'm just going to say users hit this and then call the get the response and once the we receive the response think we missed something here okay simply log it for now response dot data okay so what it will be doing is whenever user is coming here it should be making on a uh, gate request call and uh, it should be returning the data right now we are not receiving anything but that is fine so and also to make this kind of call we should use one hook uh, of uh, react and this time the we should be using use uh, effect uh, hook okay okay just remove this one now uh, you can simply say like this and then here let's say let's create a function called users get users and within this users and the default value set it to blank okay now let's create this function get users and 
let's enclose it here okay so our function is ready and it should be making call to this endpoint and this point endpoint should be returning the data and then we will be displaying it over here so let's go ahead and write the api i'm just going to open the file which is this one uh, now this case we are going to make a get request call so here let's say get and uh, again we will be needing prepare statement with sql so i'm just going to say dollar sql equal to select star from users table prepare statement and then similarly execute statement and once the data uh, once the statement got executed then we have to just call one more method on the statement which is fetch all and here we have to pass one uh, parameter which is pdo fetch associate so it will be returning the associative array response and once we get the data we have to just return it with json encode dollar users and finally break the statement okay so our api is ready let's see whether we are receiving the data or not here also we should be seeing okay i just refresh the page and i can see that the four data four rows what we have here into my sql database we are receiving it now we have to set it into state uh, into this file so i'm just going to use uh, use state and this should be set to default blank const here users variable and set users method i think we don't need to import statement we can simply say use state and that's it so this will be calling this method and we got the data then finally we have to say set users and here response dot data now it will be setting into the state and uh, finally we can uh, here let's use div so this is wrapped inside and now you can use uh, however you want to say show the data so i'm just going to use table for now t head tr and th so here i'm just going to show name and then we will be showing email mobile and action even we can show id so let's say id here okay now similarly we have to create a t body table body and then tr but while creating a tr we now we already have the data users we can use map method and uh, here we have user and also we can use key okay so let's take it here and key equal to key
okay now after that we have to just create a couple of td and uh, just show data like this user dot id name email and finally mobile and we can have one more td here for actions so we can use button uh, and also one maybe link Uh, for edit right so user slash id user dot id then edit and say edit so edit we have and then we have to also use delete which will be making ready in some time now as you refresh the page you can see all the data got displayed here you can also use some styles maybe equal to margin right maybe 10 pixels okay so finally our data is ready now as you can see the list is ready create uh, if you go to the create and say test 5 test 5 and same number save button it it have created the data uh, I think we got some error here let's refresh the page here should be one more record fifth one and I think we're getting some error here let's see map is not a function so here we have use use effect it's calling this function and it should be returning the data once we get the data it should go here okay I think this is the problem yeah so let's refresh the page and you are getting the list here so data is getting saved data is getting uh, listed if you click on this edit it is going to the edit uh, page now we have to work on edit and delete so in the next session i'll show you how to uh, edit the data